Soon one person is in custody after police say he threatened to crash a plane into Baden High School. Dan Carroll is at the scene in Topper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. Dan, what happened? Well, Ryan, the, the picture that you're looking at right now, this is the airplane in question. It is a Cessna 152. It's a small airplane, and it's a common airplane that you see around airports like this, Lunkin Airport. You, know, you name the small airport, you're probably going to see an airplane that looks exactly like this one. It is uh, an airplane that, uh, that a lot of beginning pilots fly, and, and uh, frankly, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, experienced pilots like to fly. So we looked at the tail number of this aircraft. It's registered to a corporation, and that means anyone could have been flying this airplane. Now, apparently a threat came in around 10 o'clock this morning that the individual flying this aircraft was going to take it into Baden High School, crashed it into Baden High School. And somehow, Hamilton police were able to communicate with this pilot. How they were able to do that, we don't know yet, and they were able to convince that pilot to uh, come back here and land at the Butler County Airport. Now, Baden High School is only about five miles distance uh, from here at the airport, so you imagine that would have happened in a relatively short period of time. We took Chopper 9 over to Baden High School just a little while ago, and we looked at the uh, situation there, and from our vantage point in Chopper 9, everything at Baden High School appeared to be business as usual. So as you said, one person is in custody, that person is talking to uh, Hamilton police right now. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, quite frankly, I'm a little surprised there's not a bigger police presence here at the airport that uh, this airplane uh, doesn't have some sort of caution tape or crime scene tape around it. And I'm surprised that uh, there's uh, we don't see any federal investigators on the scene because when you do something like that, that uh, comes under a lot of federal jurisdiction. So we'll have to wait and get some answers on all those sort of questions to find out exactly what's going to happen with this. But for now, it looks like everything's under control. I'm Dan Carroll in Chopper 9.